This is John Watson. The second option we want to talk about when you've been sued by a debt buyer or a debt collector in Alabama is handling the case on your own. So what does that mean? Well, that means that you would make sure and respond to the lawsuit that's filing an answer or whatever you want to file. And then if it comes up that there's discovery, maybe there are depositions being taken or written questions being posed to you, you handle that. Uh, but in district court and small claims court, that's very rare. Actually, small claims court, it never happens. And then you would also go to trial. So what are the advantages? Well, the biggest advantage is there's no lawyer fee. You don't pay a lawyer anything. So it's absolutely free. Well, what are the disadvantages? Well, disadvantages, you don't have a lawyer. Okay, so that's the advantage. You don't pay for a lawyer. Disadvantage is you don't have a lawyer. And the question is, does it make sense to go into one of these cases without a lawyer? Now, there, you know, you might be listening to this going, well, obviously this guy's going to say, no, you have to hire a lawyer. Because, look, I make money by people hiring me. But I'll tell you this, there are a lot of these cases that you can handle on your own. And a lot of times I talk with people and I say, this is a very legitimate, viable option for you, and that is to handle the case on your own. And so let's talk about that. The highest level court we have is what's called circuit court. That's where we have jury trials, we do car wreck cases, etc. The level below that's called district court, and then a part of district court is called small claims court. If you're in circuit court, that is a difficult place to handle a case on your own. Now, you can do it. I've had people go and win cases on their own in circuit court, but that's very difficult to do. Uh, the level of complexity is much higher. We have what's called discovery, and I mentioned that a moment ago, things like depositions, uh, written discovery, it's called interrogatories, request for production, request for admissions, all these things that the collector and the lawyer will start sending to you and now you've got to address those and you have to do it within the time limits and within the rules or there can be bad consequences. So circuit court is not usually a good way or a good place to handle a case on your own to fight it. Now, if you're in district court or small claims court, normally that's the same judge, then those can quite often be a very good place to handle. Now, Here's something I'm going to say, and you're going to go, well, yeah, obviously this is nothing you know, particularly insightful, but let me just say it anyway. Everything you do, you do in life, you're going to spend money or you're going to spend time. I don't really know of any exception to that. You, know, you think about uh, you have a problem with your car. I need to change the oil. What do you do? Well, you can say, I don't want to spend any money. That's fine then change it yourself. Or you can say, I do not want to spend any time changing the oil. I don't know how to do it, or I don't want to know how to do it, or I know how to do it, I just don't want to do it. Well, then hire somebody. Take it to you know a quick change place, take it to a dealership, wherever you want to take it. Is there a right or wrong answer? No, there's no right or wrong. It's just what is best for you. So this option of fighting it on your own is where you say, I'm not going to spend any money, but I will spend time. And you do have to do that. At least in my opinion, you do if you want to have the best chance for success. And one of the things you do is you go to court. You go to the particular courtroom where your case will be tried, the particular judge that has your case. So you just call up the judge's office and say, hey, I've got a trial set, small claims, district court, whatever, set uh, three weeks from now. Do you have another day where you're going to do similar trials? And they'll tell you. Usually it's on the same day every week. And the court's open to public, so you just go in there and you watch it. And what you're doing is making sure you know how to get to the courthouse, you know how to get to the parking spot, you know how to get through security, you know where the courtroom is, so when you do your trial, you're prepared and it's not unusual to you. You're not walking in late. And then you just kind of soak it up. You know, what's the judge like? Very formal, very informal. Uh, what happens on these types of cases? So 
that's one thing you can do. And if you want to learn more, then just give us a call because there's other information, but we don't share it in a public way, but we'll be glad to share it with you. So this can be a legitimate option. And here's a critical thing. If you win your case, then that normally means this has to come off credit report and you do not owe that debt collector any money. And it may mean the debt collector that sued you has violated the law most likely the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, which governs these types of debt collectors. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Uh, we've talked in a previous video about bankruptcy, and now in this video, fighting the case on your own. There's also settling the case on your own, or hiring a lawyer to fight, or hiring a lawyer to settle the case. So really, those five options, and normally, uh, well, I'm going to say this, I've never seen a situation where all five options apply to everybody, but you need to go through the process. I hope this is helpful in going through the process and thinking through fighting it on your own. So if you have questions and you live in Alabama, it's 205-879-2447, or you can go to our website, alabamaconsumer.com, and you can read more about this type of stuff there, and you can also fill out a contact form and we'll get back with you. Thank you very much.